This creation was inspired by my dog Minnie, a Maltese who before her grooming day looks a bit like a mop on legs. She's the star of this little mechanical comedy automaton. I built this piece for Cabaret Mechanical Theatre and I've donated it to them to support their fundraising. Their work is what first inspired me to make Automata, so this feels like a small way of saying thank you. I won't go into too much detail here, just a straightforward walkthrough of how it works as I put it together. The main box is made from American ash. I'm inserting the bearings into their housings, but unlike my usual builds, I'm fixing the box with screws instead of glue. That's because some components wouldn't fit if the box were permanently sealed. The first component is the bottom section of the gantry that holds the mop. It uses an oil filled bearing that lets the square profile swivel, driven by a partial gear. This is screwed into the back section of the box. Next comes the cam follower with its linkages, levers and a slider controlling the gantry's vertical movement. Between the two black ball joints is a threaded shaft which lets me fine tune the motion. Adding the cam and rotating it shows how the mechanism works. I then add a support to the side panels, insert the second cam follower lever and fit the adjustable arm on top of the gantry secured with a grub screw. Now I add a train of compound gears leading to the crank handle, reducing the speed.
On the top part of the box, I glue on the shoes. From underneath, I insert a machine screw to loosely fix one trouser leg, while the other leg is driven by a slightly bent shaft. This creates a gentle sway in the character. That shaft connects to another gear train underneath, which meshes with the crank handle assembly. Once everything is aligned, I secure the box with screws. The upper body parts are connected with eyelet screws and pins. A grub screw at the back secures the torso to the trousers. The head has a counterweight at the neck, allowing it to sway freely. Finally, the mop and dog mechanism, which works a bit like an umbrella. Brass rods carry the dog's head and paws, which splay outward when the centre ring is pushed up against the top of the box. The mop head disguises Minnie until she bursts out in comic fashion. The character's hands slide onto the mop handle and the shaft extends through the box to fix into the gantry.
The last step is to attach the crank handle to the side. And that's it, Mini the Mop Dog Automaton is complete. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.